a Friday afternoon. As usual, he intercepted Dorothy on the way home. But this time, he not only stepped in front of her, he closed in. He closed in until there was barely a paper's width of space between their noses. His jaw hard, his eyes burning, he stared unblinking into eyes a mere inch away and dared them not to see him. All movement, all laughter on the sidewalk stopped. And to those nearby, and finally to Beams himself, it became clear that even now, even this close still, still she would not look at him. What are you reading? You look so serious. It's a book about this kid Palmer. In this part, he's watching his friend tease a girl he knows while she's walking down the street. Does the girl do anything about it? Well, sort of. Listen to the next part. And then she did it. She spoke. She took one step back from Beans and walked straight over to Palmer and said, Why are you doing this to me? And just like that, the girl was no longer a target. She was Dorothy. There were tears in her eyes, and she was saying to him, not to anyone else, but to him, Palmer, why are you doing this to me? Hmm, that's interesting. Sounds like she was more upset with Palmer than at the boy who was bothering her. Yeah, it kind of reminds me when I see Robert bugging Sandra. He says he's only teasing, but I think he's acting like a bully. Did you do anything about it? Well, no, because everyone else is laughing and they think it's funny. Do you think it's funny? I don't think it's right, but I don't know what to do when this happens. What have you tried? I don't laugh, but it doesn't make a difference. That's a good start because you are not encouraging him to keep it up. You could also tell Robert that you don't think it's funny. Okay, I'll think about it. This looks like an interesting story. I really like it when I read something that relates to my life. I need to start dinner, but I'd like to hear more about the book. You want to help? Okay. Here are some tips for talking with your early adolescent child about literature and life. Be honest and respectful with your child. Encourage him or her to ask questions. Use opportunities that arise in everyday life to discuss important issues. Listen carefully to your child and ask open-ended questions. Share your values. Ask your child about what she or he is reading. Read aloud to your child and ask him or her to read aloud to you. Make connections between reading and life. This production was made possible by a grant from MetLife Foundation.
happened on a Friday afternoon. As usual, he intercepted Dorothy on the way home, but this time, he not only stepped in front of her, he closed in. He closed in until there was barely a paper's width of space between their noses. His jaw hard, his eyes burning, he stared unblinking into eyes a mere inch away and dared them not to see him. All movement, all laughter on the sidewalk stopped. And to those nearby, and finally to Beams himself, it became clear that even now, even this close still, still she would not look at him. ¿Qué estás leyendo? Estás tan serio. Este libro se trata de un muchacho llamado Palme. En esta parte, él observa cómo su amigo intimida a una muchacha que él conoce y que va pasando por la calle. ¿Y la muchacha hace algo? Pues más o menos. Escucha la parte que sigue. And then she did it. She spoke. She took one step back from Beans and walked straight over to Palmer and said, Why are you doing this to me? And just like that, the girl was no longer a target. She was Dorothy. There were tears in her eyes, and she was saying to him, not to anyone else, but to him, Palmer, why are you doing this to me? Hmm, qué interesante. Parece que la muchacha está más enojada con Palmer que con el muchacho que le estaba intimidando. Sí, esto me recuerda cuando Roberto intimida a Sandra. Él dice que solo está jugando, pero yo creo que está comportando como un intimidador. ¿Y tú haces algo cuando ves eso? Bueno, no, porque todos los demás se ríen y según ellos es chistoso. ¿Y tú crees que es chistoso? Yo no creo que está bien, pero yo no sé qué hacer cuando eso pasa. ¿Qué has tratado de hacer? No me río, pero no ha servido de nada. Esa es una buena manera de comenzar, porque con eso demuestras que no estás aprobando su proceder. También le puedes decir a Roberto que tú no piensas que eso sea chistoso. Está bien, voy a pensar a ver qué hago. Esta historia es interesante. Me encanta leer cosas que se relacionan con mi vida. Necesito comenzar a hacer la cena, pero quiero seguir con el libro. ¿Me ayudas? Está bien. Aquí están algunos consejos para hablar de la literatura y la vida real con su pequeño hijo o hija adolescente. Sea honesta y respetuosa con su hijo o hija y anímelo a hacer preguntas. Aproveche oportunidades que se presenten en la vida diaria para hablar de temas importantes. Escuche atentamente a su hijo o hija y hágale preguntas en las que puedan contestar más elaboradamente. Incúlquele sus principios. Pregúntele a su hijo o hija de qué se trata lo que está leyendo. Lea en voz alta a su hijo o hija y pídale que le lea a usted en voz alta. Haga comparaciones entre la lectura y la vida real. Esta producción fue realizada con fondos otorgados por MetLife Foundation.